Hello and welcome to some more of our lovely Phyton campaign, where we're currently Yanseng. We have uh, we have formed uh, the nation of Yanseng, which gives us quite a lot more um, governing capacity and also just way, way, way better ideas. Um, in the multiplayer campaign, where I'm playing as one Zia, um, the Yanseng, or sorry, the Phyton player has kind of given up after I conquered a bit of his land and he's he's moved on to pastures new. Because uh, he was kind of no, kind of failing at uh, fighting, uh, but we're not going to fail. We're going to be just fine. Um, these ah yes, I split all my army into the different areas. Right, we've just got pure artifices, which are dope as hell. I'm not sure why their discipline is lower. Maybe it's a balancing thing that the mod does. Uh, we have our battle mages, which have less fire damage, and then we've got our national elites, which are no fire or shock modifiers, they're just, you know, t plus 10% discipline. And that's before you get any drill whatsoever. Um, which I guess I haven't got any drill on anything. Um, but drill gives you, um, I think it's 20% um, discipline when you're at 100. So when these guys are drilled to the gills, uh, they're, just, they're just really, really fucking good. Especially as they drill faster as well, it's fantastic. But anyway, enough about that. I think we should get going. I'd like to conquer you. We've got a truce uh, until 49. That's going to take a little while. Let's have a look at our missions to see what we're looking for next. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, the world's our oyster is literally it. I just need my Republican tradition at uh, 100. It's going up by 2.25 every year. Hopefully we'll get some... Uh, uh, some events as well to, to make that go even better. We're also colonizing quite nicely over here. I think that's good. We did want to do a bit of a conquest on Mate because we have the location of the uh, Golden Glowing City, which is quite nice. Um, you got 17,000, I got 12,000 Marines. I think we can probably win that without too much of a problem. Manpower modifier is quite nice. Do I want something different though? Uh, there's force limit. I got fire damage. I got just straight infantry fire. Got artillery combat ability. Like those are all really, really good uh, options. We got the tax income and the goods produced modifier. Uh, national tax modifier is actually really strong there as well. Twenty percent. Uh, I think that would actually do me quite nicely. I think I'll pop that on. And I'll take this goods produced off. And we'll see how that affects things. I think that actually gives me a bit more money. Alright, let's put a general here. Zongyang Huang. And uh, we will declare the war. They're going to call in Soru. Uh, which is... This guy, I don't really care. So yeah, let's declare the war. And I can probably just actually go and blockade Soru out of the war immediately. So I'll wait until my boats are down there. Okay. Declare the war. Alright, you want out? You do not yet. That's fine. And we're continuing to explore things as well, of course. They got one shock only on that general, so that should be an easy uh, stack wipe, hopefully. I mean, it's silly little uh, natives, right? They're not going to pose too much of a threat to us. I'm just going to port menu again. Construct a sky post. Alright, it's a thousand crowns. Let's pop one in Tianlu. I think I, I think it is probably wise to build them in quite a few places, right? You can build one a year, roughly. So that's uh, that's not bad. I got some mercs already. 20k dudes. Uh, do you want out yet? Not quite. 
Alright, if they're just uh, gonna let me siege, I'm gonna just do nothing for a little while. Hey, we got our first colony finished uh, in this area. And you can continue exploring. Yo, he's all the way down here now. Whenever I'm getting the monthly tick, it's giving me two cash right, uh, noises. I think it's just because I'm... Uh, I'm getting income from this province as I'm raiding it, but it's still very irritating. And we'll continue. Come on, 21. Damn it. Alright, finish the siege. Kill that, kill that. Why can't I cross? Oh, the boats, of course. Well, uh, let's go kill your boats, because I can't be asked crossing that much. I'm not getting... Yeah, that... It's not because I'm taking... I'm not looting. That's not the reason for the money. Why am I getting money twice? First 50 and then an extra 50. Why? Ooh. Its distinctive tint was uh, given by a special alloying process involving small amounts of dame steel. Blue steel rudders offer unparalleled control and flexibility while in the air. Their design allows the airship to dart in multiple directions, much like a dragonfly, mastering the spatial dimensions of the skies. I wish to see what uh, ability I have from this. Shwimus. Uh That gives me uh, naval leader shock, shock damage, and infantry shock on my artificers. They just love shocking. Shocking's great. Uh, but let's research more artificery and more warfare and armaments. This is definitely the, the place where um, Iggy went wrong, though, uh, when he was playing fighting. He just didn't get any um, inventions at all. We could have gotten so many. Yeah, let's build more of sky posts. I, I feel like just building all of the sky posts is probably a good idea. I don't know where most of these places are. They are all in me. Okay, yeah. Lemon is mine. Dagger. Oh, dagger point. Interesting. Uh, let's do Tuchaweg, actually. The one all the way up there. I can't actually remember what the war goal is. Tertiak. It's right there. Okay. We're on our way. Yeah, this income thing. What's going on here? Am I making more than 115? So if we go to more than 945, we're getting extra 50 ducats. Why are we getting an extra 50 ducats? Where are these 50 ducats coming from? Is it from the sky ports? Or I don't... I have no clue. Oh, hi, Laurent. Anyway, yeah, mace. Let's just... Uh... All of this is colonial paradox. What is this province? Oh, uncolonized. Mine now. I think I should probably take as much as possible, right? How much is it to take everything? Well, I can't, but how much would it be? 94. I think we'll go for a 94 piece deal because, like, let's be honest, it's not exactly going to be difficult. Boats can go back over here as well. 
Yeah, why am I making extra money? I mean, it's got to be something to do with the airship shit, right? Damn, the uh, single state fucking things are so stupid. This this province is a single province inside the state. Like it's so dumb. Anyway, I've got one province. Oh, I've got two provinces finished. Okay, so I need to core... how many? Well, actually, those are almost done. I could just literally wait until they're cored, and then that's going to be, uh... That's going to be done. Yeah, i just wait until that's cored. No need. No need to rock the boat. Growth of the printing industry. I didn't get it, of course. Hey, Amy Clarose. How you doing? Cla Sorry, Amy Clara Rose. Nice name. Uh, I think... We can do a racial agenda. Production in Shengdao. Yo, yo, Ruinborn agenda? What what do you want for this? I feel like I like the amount of points that no, that's a terrible idea, isn't it? Cobalt Master of the Sea. What does a Cobalt Master of the Sea do? We can always switch it back afterwards. Galley combat ability, ship durability. My ship trade power goes down, which kinda sucks, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably change that back. Um I'm doing pretty well, thank you. I'm doing pretty well. Um, let us build more sky posts. Oh, I meant my sky post cap. Of course, of course. Five of five. Um, okay, so. Is this what's giving me the money? Like, it can't be. Oh, yeah, it is. It is, look. Because Jellyfish Coast gives me 41 crowns. Tianlu gives me 13 crowns. That's exactly what it is. Our sky post in trade node allows us to collect duties from that node. Duties depend on the to node's trade value or our trade power and our duty efficiency. Okay. Through diplomacy. Where precisely would that diplomacy... Oh, there. I would like to purchase rights. I need to get fleet basing from them first. Imagine if I built a sky post in their capital. Like, that would be pretty dope. Let's give it a shot. All right. And also, I think I will have to dismantle one of my sky posts. Like, the one in Sarmaf Sarmadfar? Shit. Terrible. Where is the one in Sarmadfar? Oh, I built one here. Is this Sarmadfar by any chance? It is. It's terrible. Uh, I'm going to delete the one in Tuchuweg, though. Bureaucrat candidate. I don't want to re-elect yet. So does that immediately happen? It does. Okay. So construct a. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Back. Go back. Get out of there. What I need to do is ask you for skypost rights, and he will give it. Fantastic. Oh, you're dope as well. Nice. So we buy Skypost rights from Verkal Ozavar. 
Yeah. Then we build a sky post. Wait, I'm at five out of five. What? Is that the Bin Run Coast? Where's the where's Bin Bin Run Coast? Did it build it here? What does a sky post look like? Let's church plate her Mary. Sky post looks like that. Okay. Can I see it on the map? I can. Okay, so I built it here in uh, Nirak von Kai. Is there a lot of wealth in here? Not really. I was kind of hoping to build it in Verkal Ozovar. Not gonna lie. Oh, I was building more artifices as well, apparently. Beautiful. They can have the cannons as well. And I need to build more national elites, because national elites are actually frickin' fire. Treasure fleet. Oh yeah, so I make crap tons of money while the treasure fleet's coming in. Is this same mod as using the multiplayer? Yes, it is. All right, that's one of the provinces done. Never force them. It's just gone down. That's not good. Hey, it's gone back up again. God damn, that red glades is scary. The fact that I can see all in here, I hate that so much. The rivers are annoying me. Very badly. <laughs> Training in paper is good, though. Alright, let's have a look. What else have we got in here? Convene the Silken Council. We've not done that yet, so let's give that a try. The Silken Council sits, gathered for their once a decade meeting. So, do we issue the Marketplace of Ideas proclamation? Uh, gives me 50 admin per province. The following province will get the modifier for 10 years. Institution of Missionary Strength. Okay, so I get, I get 250 admin points there. That's not bad. Or 250... Dip points. Or 250 mil points. Yo, that's kind of cracked. I don't need any of those points, but, like... Let's do that one. Got the trade power and local goods produce one fire as well. That's dope. The Silken Council speaks. So I can do that in a, in a decade. I actually don't think I got any of those points, did I? Did it, did it actually cost me? Was that what I saw? I think it actually did cost me, and it didn't. Hmm. Okay, I got it the wrong way around. It's fine, though. That could, that could get real expensive real fast. That's a dagger point. So I'm about to have a... Colonial Nation, as soon as the monthly tick goes, I believe. Yan Haraf will change. Oh, it won't change. Wait, but that's one, two, three, four. Oh, I think I need one more. You, yeah. Trade Center dra Dagger Point goes up. Nice. I need you to finish. Uh, bu 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 bum. Colonize on the island. Yeah. 
I'm just like eagerly awaiting that to finish. Oh yeah, Degaki and you no longer have to give me uh, military access. Who else was I getting military access from? Larankar. Hey, now next month it's gonna do it. Hindenburg, right? I feel like Hindenburg's pretty pretty good, pretty alright. I feel like it needs to be kind of Chinesey though, right? That's co our Chinese coded nation. What do we what do we do? Has anyone got any ideas for our colonial nation? Like New Heights is our first one. The Hindenburg was a disaster. Yeah, no, I know. I mm, yeah, no. The Hindenburg's probably not a good idea then, is it? Um, what do we have then? What do we have? Uh, how about this? How about sky span? New heights, sky span. Yeah, we'll do sky span. Hey. What is this? Oh, I'm colonizing. Right, right, right. Yeah, first colonial nation, which is going to give me an assign uh, a merchant. Can I even bring the trade here home? No, I can't. Why in the piss did I colonize this? I can't even bring this trade home. I can only bring trade from Eordand. Like, this is useless. This is good. This is good. That trade goes up, so that's good. Delair is bad. God, the trade. Oh, I. F fucking trade things. Anyway, these national elites are dope as fuck. Um, maybe what we do then is... Oh, there's no, no trade here at all. What's going on? Let me transfer from here, from the Blue Sea. Let's see what that does for me. Three whole tickets, boys! Ah! So good. So, so good. Um, I also want some more cannons. What's combat width right now is 27. Uh, if I have... I, I need to calculate her out again. Um, 42 times 2 divided by 3 is 28. Okay, so I can literally have... If I split off, like, how many? If I have, like, 14 of you... Go there. 14 of you. And then here. 14 of you can go there. 14 of you can go there. We can have three armies where they're balanced, you know? Half and half with these. I feel like that's probably a good idea. And you're going to get up to 28 as well. Uh, 12 cannons each? Sure. That's probably fine. I've still got my battle mages down here that I need to probably... 
I don't know, are battle mages good for fighting? Probably not. If I'm focusing on fire damage, then I'd say probably not. Is it spreading here fast? It's spreading here pretty nice, actually. Oh, that university is so nice. Yo, that's so nice. What I should do, though, is save money for the Grand Skyport. Yeah, so we have, uh, like, 340 stacks. That's not bad. That's not a bad little army. It's actually probably a really, really good army, in fact. Anyway, uh, Grand Skyport, let's uh, let's get you built. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using the limited amount of manpower I have to uh, build that up, though. Uh, let's build you a library. Somebody's taken admin tech. And it's five years ahead of time. If I... How long have we got left on this? 360... Okay, so we can take it in January. One, it's one of those. God, our generals are dog water, though. Absolute garbage. Kind of sucks that we're like limited behind Republican tradition. Like, c come on, can we just can we just get this done now? I could do this, but like I have to click that three times. No, quite a lot more than three times. No, just three times. Fuck it. Do we do the last one? We're at ninety nine point what? Let's just let's just let that last one go. Yeah, fuck it. No point in uh, rocking boat too much. Temple complex neglected. Uh, we can afford that. That's fine. And I've got another colony that I can start. Which I'll do that one. Can we kill Haraf yet? No. Can I say that I want you to get claims on this shit? Yeah, that colony is just a, a massive disappointment, but it was the location of the glowing city, which has become their capital. So I, I feel like it's not terrible. God, we make so much money. I think I'm 250 ducats to make it go faster, I guess. If we're making a lot of money. Does it... Oh, I don't think it only takes up on the monthly tick. It's just an aggregate over a year. You gain 2.2. Unless it goes up in January and then maybe I'm wrong. We're at 100. There we go. Mission? Mission. The world, our oyster. We were not quite sure what to expect when we sent our fleet out to explore the world, but not in our wildest imaginations could we have imagined the vast wealth and knowledge that they have brought back. With such a limitless potential for trade and learning in this um, revealed wider world, and our balloons ready to ferry it back towards Phyton with all haste, the world is our oyster. We need only prepare the League of Phyton to open it. New missions will be revealed. Nice. Oh, work in progress. That's this is this is unfortunate. 
With newer lands being discovered almost every day, we must decide on a direction for how we handle their incorporation. So I needed to have a colonist. Okay. Determine the settler policy. Impressment of prisoners and other such criminals in Yenseng's ships is essential to the proper functioning of our fleet. Without the work that these impressed sailors do in exchange for their eventual freedom, Yenseng would grind to a halt quicker than the whales dive. The discovery of untamed lands to our east not, uh, only exacerbates our need for more labour. If we're to take full, advantage, uh, full and quick advantage of the resources that new lands represent, diverting our stream of impressed sailors towards settling this land may help us tame the land quicker at the expense of our sailor pool. On the other hand, we can also take a lighter approach towards the exploitation of Insia and Aelantia, letting our merchants dictate the pace as they see fit. Do I want settler increase? Oh, trade efficiency. I like trade efficiency, but 10% settler chance sucks. I guess I'll just take the seven increase. That's fine. Of bird guano and whale oil. I needed to discover Sardak. The primary thing we took for so we look for when exploring the ocean past the storm are islands that can work as whaling stations. Islands with a sheltered bay, wood for repairs, and ample fresh water, and animals for meat. Failing those, the islands almost always teem with seabirds who cover the rocks with many feet of their droppings. Many of the older farmers among the Jellyfish Coast know well the value of bird and bat droppings as fertilizer, having taken advantage of seabird nesting sites among the pocked cliffs and caves of the coast since the days of their forefathers. The nearby deposits have been running low as our people coax life out of the Jellyfish Coast's poor soil, but even a new island layered with guano is another boon to us. 400 colonists join a frontier in Sardak. All single province islands colonies will get plus one production upon finishing. Nice. Where is Sardak? Aha. Uh -huh. Very cool. That's almost finished already. Nice. Um, so, we'll be revisited with the Insia update. Okay, fair enough. So there's nothing here yet. But that's fine. It does prevent me from getting this, though. Actually, no, this does, too. We can't actually finish the mission tree. How sad. Although, you know, it goes around, so we can get to here. We just can't do this part. Like, this isn't work in progress. This is already done, but, like, yeah. Fair enough. Wait, it actually probably doesn't prevent me from doing it, though. Because we can click on them to just finish them. We just don't get anything from it. Aha! There we go. Anyway, the arrival of gnomes. In recent years, rumors of a race of short beings called themselves gnomes have reached our merchants' ears. These rumors also discuss the wondrous inventions, magical trinkets, and never-before-seen artifacts. They come seeking knowledge and novel technology, willing to spend a fortune to obtain it where uh, whichever cities they decide to dock their bulbous research ships in. The Shuimu Engineering Carter are quite eager to make their acquaintance, enamored with the technologies they are. Perhaps their arrival can be mutually beneficial. Our Shuimu balloons will surely fascinate them. And there is no telling what we can learn from their miracles. Uh, lovely. Fighting needs Gomo branch office. Have the province modify- wait. No, we've needed to just discover Anban cost. Alright. So, we increase gnomes, uh, we get the Gomo Petition, I love those. Um, we'll unlock a new privilege for Shuimu, called Weren Membership. And we'll discover all of the places. Lovely. I do so very, very much love the, um, the Gomo events in Anbana. They're so fun. Uh, hey, Brian. How you doing, mate? Printing press has appeared. How much is it to embrace? I can't. It needs to spread more. How fast is it spreading here? Ugh, not very. You want 500 crowns? How about no? All my crowns will be used for the Grand Skyport. 
It's a marvel of engineering and planning, nestled within fighting sheltered hills where wind is naturally shunted away. It provides a stable base for the many dozens of balloons and skyships of fightings and air faring fleet. At the very top are the seats of the Silken Council. Seas of berths face each other in a circle with ample room for the personal balloons of each member of the council. Sprung up at the feet of the Grand Sky Board is a bustling market with two dozen languages can be heard and goods from five dozen nations are exchanged. Supporting all this are a multitude of chains, pulleys, and belts, steaming goods up and down the main market and the holds of individual skyships and balloons above. Beautiful. I just thought, what happens if, say, Magisterium on their little, little uh, fucking island over here, like, if we got, like, an Imperialism CB and just, like, took just the island, it's in the richest trade nodes, 103 ducats, it's not that great, but, you know, it's richest in the world right now, probably. We can make fat, fat stacks. Oh, we can build fucking so many. I don't think that's worth it. Because, like, they're... You know, Binrung's giving me fuck all. Sarmadfar's giving me fuck all. Yanjong and Tianlu and the Jellyfish Coast are great, though. Can I just best CB it? I mean... I could. Does the island get permanent dames here? Yes. I mean, I could... I could best CB it. That's true. I don't want to, though. Amber Cost doesn't even exist anymore. It's just the province. West Ham got it. The bastards. I think we leave it for now. Hey, slaves are more expensive. I make more money now. I think I also would like to uh, finish this problem off. Ah, get murdered. Alright. How's the command doing? Uh they're pretty scary. I mean, yeah, they're they're pretty scary. They killed Wanzia. Buvari doesn't like them, so I'm hoping they're gonna be like keeping them in check. Anyway, yeah, let's uh let's kill you. Let's go Artificers. Alright, he's peasy. You enjoy Artificers? I do too. I think they're really cool. Uh, let's embrace Printing Press immediately, actually. Governing Capacity Modifier is nice. I don't really see a good reason to wait. Still time until the next tech. Did I just get training in precursor relics? Is that what I just saw? That's not precursor relic. That's gold. That's not it. Do I need to like put a? I, I'm probably just gonna go conquer that next. Actually, we'll just do it that way.
think next uh, next multiplayer campaign I do, I'm going to choose an Artificer Heavy Nation. Uh, I am now going to start keeping this guy. two siege, you got one siege, you got none siege. Okay, so we'll swap you over. We can also, we don't actually need... We don't actually need to conquer him. Let's improve relations with him, try and be like super fucking friendly, and we'll just ask him if we can build sky posts in him. Oh, they don't have a center of trade. Oh, you sweaty bastard. All right. Fuck Magisterium. West Ham. Oh, and I'd like to build another one in you. Oh, this isn't even a trade area. Actually, no, it isn't. Why is this not a trade port and that's only an emporium Can, let, let me build this for you I'll give you the money what are some artifacts of heavy tags okay so um, the Gnomish hierarchy is a really good one BPEC I think is a good one I'm not entirely sure but the one I'm mostly leaning towards is iron hammers in um, in Escan. And also just like dwarves, just in general dwarves. Uh, Riveri is pretty good. Goblins and kobolds are good, but I don't really want to play goblin or kobold. I'm mostly leaning towards iron hammers in Escan. Iron hammers don't really lean into that much. I heard that they did. Anyway, that's 100%. Wow, I can't take that much, can I? Um, I guess I'm going to separate piece you then. Um, maybe we just take this then. Yeah, let's just piece properly. Apparently I can take this. Seems reasonably uh, stupid. Enforced sky post rights. Wait, that's 50 war score. Wow, okay. Anyway, get yourself to a proper city. There we go. Uh, the Monuments mod, they get a monument for... Actually, no, this mod also does that monument. I know I'm cheating by uh, opening the console for that. Hammer Home Artifices Guild. It's in here as well. Iron Hammers is an adventurer guild. Yes. Adventuring company. So yeah, the Iron Hammers also have it. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played their mission tree. I've just heard that it's got it, so. Forgive me if I am wrong. Uh, as Jakuma, can I just threaten war for Jinulin? No, I'm pretty close to being able to threaten war for Jinulin. Anyway, let's see what I have to do for my other missions, right? Any known country opinion of me is at 150. Uh, they needed to. They need to be a technocracy and gnomish, and they need to have. Or is my no their artificery uh, points need to be at 40. Okay, so I think we need to, like, befriend. Like Port Nam would be a great one. Magisterium, you can suck a dick. Oh, 
Oh boy, distance between borders is uh, is hella oof. Oh, it's an or, not an and. So gnome, technocracy, or have the state amount of artifacts I can. Okay, okay. Anyway, origin of the treasure fleet. Zerk Nagrik. I need to have a spy network in them, or their opinion needs to be high. Spy network is, is way easier. Because I don't want to be their friend. Um, Alien Tiering Markets. I need to have... Um, either... Have a subject with 150 dev, but I need to have my capital in South Atlantis, so not that one. I need to have currently at least two, currently one, all provinces that have Sky Post on the continent of North Alien. Okay, so I need to have another Alien Tiri Sky Post. I need to have another Alien Tiri Sky Post. Fuck it, we're going to conquer Finsag or Einsag. They've got no friends, which is fantastic. New Heights has conquest on them. More fantasticness. There's also this guy. If I declare war on you, that's 50k. How many transportation units do I have? 12. It's not exactly the number I was actually looking for, I'm not gonna lie. colonizing at all, I wonder. No. I mean, co colonization is so useless for me now. Because I can't get the trade back. <laughs> Bomb something. I mean, sounds like a good idea, actually. Oh, this does go this way. Alright, so I'm going to colonize here, then. You just stay here, funk. For another 99 days. You can live 99 days, right? <laughs> Tower complex restored. Very nice. In Tianlu. I attack you, I mean, I'm heavily, heavily outnumbered. Because, sure, New Heights, they can join in, but... Actually, I have some troops over here. Why do I have troops over here? I don't recall building these troops. Unless they've been here the whole time, which could be true. Could you Merc Mason? No, that's shitty. Uh, we could just build some mercs, actually. We've, we're actually kind of stacked. So there's 19. Any mercs with good generals? There's you, but I can't build you anywhere. There's you. Ooh, I can build you this one? No, this one, but you're fucking no general. I could build you... Four, four shock is good enough. There we go. And you guys can keep drilling. So we make uh, 91, 90. Okay, so what is... I get like 100 ducats now from that, it seems. Just give you another guy. Excellent. Anyway, 
let's declare... Oh, no, I've only got a subjugation. I have conquest on you. I have military access through you. Uh, let's bring you back. Cancel the military access. And then in a few days, we'll attack. Please let me walk through. Tolerance of humans. Uh, no, that's fine. Entrance, you will let me through. You will. Entrance, you can just give it to my allies. So I don't have to ask. Oh, Grins. Yes. Okay, we're already done. Nice. Beautiful. But I can't go through Pelamar yet. Don't worry, buddy, you're next. Uh, and then there is, what are you doing? You're just in port doing nothing. That's fun. Uh, there is this, oh shit. I still think it's this province here. So we will continue to fabricate on you. So you don't you have two siege, you have three siege, neither of you have cannon. I invite a scholar. Uh monthly admin points is kinda cool. Hammer home, the iron hammer's formable doesn't get artifices early, even if they have the artifice guild monument. That sucks. Well, it's not like I've solidly, like, sold myself on, on them, you know? It's just a thought I've had so far. Also, yeah, we were fucking stacked for money. Let's build some mana factories. But that's it. Could build mage towers, but I'm just actually just not feeling them. Just not feeling mage towers right now. Kind of want to go heavy onto like artifice, so like mage tower seems like a bad idea. Hey, Shiyushi. Strange that imperialism doesn't give me like an imperialist um, imperialism CB. Kind of sad. Okay, so your boats are strong. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck your boats. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go kill your boats. Alright, so Portnam is as friendly with me as I can make them right now. Let's proclaim a guarantee on them. We can subsidize and we can influence. A siege of fucking whatever it was, gamer crab or some shit. And we can march to kill his army. He's got a seven shock general. I got five fire, and fire's better, I think. Especially when I do that.
Where did he go? Did he come back down here? Yo, we could have just walked over here. For fuck's sake. Oh, we found his army as well. I would lose my core on Zugok. No, you were never going to have Zugok. Stop asking for me. I can't move forward anymore. Uh, let's get all three of these techs. Let's make my cannons better. Fucking architect also died. Uh... Core creation cost guy, I think. How much am I getting from my things now? Skyports. Yeah, it's kind of a lot of money from Jellyfish and Tianlu. An extra hundred ducats. We stand the fat income. Are my heavies better than their ships? We'll find out now. Mm, probably not. I mean, it is a coast. Their galleys are doing 75% more damage. They have 10 of them. Although, my galleys are... My heavies are still doing better. Nice. Heavy battle, but yeah, we win. Yo, fam, 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 fam. Quit your bullshit. I got three colonists spare, that's sad. It's actually something that I was considering in the Saturday game. Is it a good time now to abandon colonialism? Or colonial whatever the idea group is called? Because on the one hand... I'm not colonizing anymore. On the other hand, manpower per colony is kind of fucking cracked. So I'm thinking probably no. Oh no, I found his boats. Siege that. How many colonies do I have in the in the in the Saturday game? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. So it's thirty-five percent. Manpower. It's worth keeping an ID group purely for 35% extra manpower. Maybe. Have I committed more war crimes? I mean, I, I feel like uh, murdering natives in the manner that I'm currently doing sort of constitutes that, right? So, colonial regions. This is all... Yeah, you can't have it. This is all going to go to me. My 
sure everything. Oh yeah, not everything is occupied by me. I think we're good now. Yeah, I think we're good. So manpower is needed against the Wexoids. True. Yo, Spark Drive is something of an icon. First invented by gnomish artificers on the island of Nims called the Spark Drive. Uses Dame's Tear and Lightning Elemental Essence to fire bolts of lightning similarly to firing musket balls. These immediately caught the eye of any being interested in artificery or military technology due to their extreme range. The upper limits have not been determined, though they're certainly high, and pinpoint accuracy, both achievements which modern conventional firearms cannot match. These firearms are, as one can expect, very difficult to acquire. Any state that is capable of producing these rifles is very careful to not let the secret slip. In any case, our artificers have been able to piece together sufficient um, in order to create these magnificent weapons for our own state. Though there are not enough for Matthews, use, specialized war artificer teams will be able to use them with confidence until they can be further produced. In any case, our artificers have been able to piece together sufficient in order... Okay, can I just point out, this has been in the game. This text has been in Anbanar for a long time. For a very, very long time. Am I, like, the only one that reads events ever? Because, like, in any case, our artificers have been able to piece together sufficient in order to create these magnificent weapons. A sufficient number of these ways. Sure, like, there are, there's multiple ways that this sentence can be made good, but right now, it's just not... And it's not like, oh, there's a better way of writing this. It's just, this makes no sense. There is a word missing. It is missing word. I, I, I find it incredible that no one is like... Yo, guys, this, this, this is written badly. No one until me? How? I, we're gonna, actually, you know what, we're going to check. Because I know when Artifices came into the, into the mod, right? Anbinar. I spelled that wrong. Update. Uh, what was it called? Well, what's the, they not? They got the big fucking updates. Not Children of Ruin. Wizards and Warlocks or something like that, right? No, uh, Artificer... Artifice a thing. What the fuck was it called? Gods and Gears. Gods and motherfucking Gears. When did that come out? 2021? It's been in the game almost two years. Almost two years. How am I the first one to, like, see this in two years? I'm just... <sighs> but hey, I got Sparkle Drivels. They're, they're fucking cool. For those who don't know, Spark Drive Rifles give me plus 20% land fire damage on my artifices. It's just, it's just good shit. It's just real, real fat goodness. Gnomes, I'd love to do something with the gnomes, but like, you need 40 influence and they're, apparently their tolerance is low. They're coexisting right now. Well, let's, uh, human and gnomes. An agenda. What do the gnomes want? Fight and having manpower? <laughs> Fine. Wow, it was 150. Mm hmm. Fun.
I think most people have played so much E4 that they skim the event decks and mainly focus on the buttons. I mean, sure, like, I, I will admit I only do it because I'm playing YouTube. Uh, I'm playing for YouTube, right? And I, I find that reading the text out is, like, it's good for YouTube. But, like, at the same time, like, come on. Like, I can't, can't be the only one to fucking read this. It makes me sad to see that in the game because then it makes me think that people don't read these. And some of them are really, really well written. And like the amount of time people spend on writing them, is that time simply wasted? That's really, really sad. What's the lag? What the fuck? You lucky enjoy your videos over at Rumbas because of that. The events and lore are super cool and you like to experience with people. I appreciate that. Like I said, I, I, I think myself and Arumba are certainly appealing to a very different uh, niche. Um, for me, I guess my niche kind of thing is, is not exactly the high quality, you know, super meta strats uh but you know i we both both enjoy the game so that's what matters really nade is rising oh no you fucking don't so we're 99 percent now but i can't take stuff over here because of this fort oh i can nice okay well, in that case, give me this entire state, and I guess this entire state, and then this entire state, and then this state. That's going to form a colonial nation with you. I think that's it. Right, and as we have three, I need to core two of these. So naturally, we core the two cheapest, because I am a cheap bastard. Can I immediately build a sky post over there? No. Never mind then. Is this for a mission or just general colonial stuff? Um, I want these. There's so many uh, precursor relics around here. There are. I, w I want. I need them. I think I need them for a mission as well, actually. If you liked the video, please help me out and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Maybe leave a comment down below too, it really does help out the channel. If you have the means and are willing to, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. It's the best way to support me and the effort that goes into creating the content you've just watched and hopefully will continue to watch, and allows me to focus more on making videos without the stress and worry of another meteor striking my channel, be it hacks, demonetization, or the third adpocalypse. You can also support me by heading over to Twitch and following there, or joining my Discord and being an active member of the community. All those links are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.